Well, you guys might be wondering where I've been for the last couple of months, and I'm about to tell you why. What's up everyone and welcome to the Durbin Compound. Uh, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you brutally honest tool reviews, uh, you know, tips and tricks, things to make you more self-sufficient. And you know, I have, I have not been posting a lot lately because I felt like I was in a mental space where I just was complaining about everything. And then after I buy so many things and so many things have been a disappointment to me, I figure out that maybe it's just not me. Like I have found everything after COVID or since COVID has just been lacking. It's like QC has gone out the window. Nobody cares. The tools that, you know, were awesome to begin with and a couple of years down the road, now we're looking at tools that aren't performing well. They just are aggravating me. It's like every single product I'm buying these days is just going downhill. So like, I hope that we're on an incline from that, you know, from that little valley that we hit where everything is just poor quality and man, I, I just hate to be the guy on YouTube, have a channel of just nothing but complaining, but the, lately I felt like in the last six months that everything that I've bought has just been, there's been something wrong with it. There's been something to complain about. You get the Milwaukee track saw. It doesn't come with a track. You have to buy the track separate. No big deal, I'll buy the track separate. But it doesn't come with the clamps for the track. You don't really need the clamps for the track. It really help, holds well on your surface. But what if I'm working on something I absolutely positively can't have that track move? Now I gotta go track down the clamps. Come on. I buy a thousand dollar miter saw and the bolt holes are stripped out from the factory and it doesn't come with bolts to put the handles on. Come on, man. I buy a one and nine sixteenths Milwaukee SDS Max, you know, hammer drill and the thing's just a piece of junk. You, you turn it upside down in a trench trying to drill a hole in a foundation wall and it just keeps cutting out. You have to reset the batteries and you have to, you know, you put all that money into it and then it just doesn't perform when you need it to. Now, I'm a contractor, I have reasonable expectations about everything, but man, I, I hate to even say that I'm hating on Milwaukee again, but they're a nine inch concrete saw. I did a video on this thing. Wow, what a piece of junk. I think they rushed it to market. I think they were really pushing it hard, but it will eat through batteries so fast it puts them into thermal overload. Like, man, I paid good money for that saw and it can't cut me a three foot trench in a slab of concrete in a basement without going through six 12.0 batteries. Six 12.0 batteries. And like, do you know how much investment I have to have in six 12.0 batteries. Like I have to be pretty well bought into the Milwaukee M18 line to even support that job. So if I didn't have all those batteries, well, I'd have to wait for that battery to cool down. I'd have to charge it up again. So, you know, in the video that I posted about the nine inch concrete saw, uh, it took us eight hours to cut out a 15 foot drain. Now, only reason I didn't want to use a gas powered saw was because we were in a kitchen. We were in the middle of a house that was slab on grade. So yes, I could have bought a, a uh, corded electric one. Yes, I could have had a different tool, but I found out right then and there that the nine inch Milwaukee was not what it claimed to be. Uh, not a good saw in the slightest. Um, just some other things lately, like, uh, you know, the, the Festool vacuums. You pay a lot of money for the Festool vacuums and their HEPA filter and all this stuff, but the suction power just isn't there. Why do I buy a $99 rigid shop vac and get more suction out of it than a $700, $800, $900 Festool vacuum? That, that just shouldn't be a thing, but it's a thing. Uh, you know, everything down to boots and clothing, like, I am finding that, you know, shoes aren't lasting much anymore. Um, boots are not holding up. Like everything's going downhill. So I figure it can't be me, that only one that's crying and complaining about it. I've watched a lot of videos and a lot of people have been complaining about the same things. So if you guys have any experience of current products that have just gone downhill 
and you'd like to tell me about them, leave them in the comments below. Um, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, right, from, from Zoolander. Uh, but it's just one of those things. Like, I hate to come on the channel to you and just cry and complain about all these things. But I spend my hard-earned money on tools, and I'm not sponsored by anybody, and there's nobody sending me, I might have 40,000 subscribers, but nobody's just sending me tools every day to review. I would say, hey, thank you, Milwaukee, for giving me the saw, but, you know, I bought this saw, and then I'm aggravated with trying to put the bolts in it. Come on, man, really? Like, I spent $1,000 on this thing. And, you know, it's just one thing after another. I'm fighting with all the tools. And another case in point, the chuck on the Sawzall of the Milwaukee Sawzalls. Oh my goodness, I have a Sawzall blade that has had the same blade stuck in it for a couple weeks now, and we just keep using it with the same blade in it. It's lasting, it's okay, but like, I need to completely take the tool apart so I can get the shoe off the front of it so I can crank it, uh, you know, crank it apart. And I've soaked it in penetrating oil. I haven't used it around water. It's not rusty. So it's just a bad design that's performing poorly. So am I the bad guy to say, you know, this thing's a piece of junk? I don't think so. So uh, sorry, I get off my soapbox and I'll keep making some real informative videos and some things that, you know, aren't just crying and complaining, but I'm just calling it how it is. And on this channel, that's what you're going to get is brutally honest reviews. And I'm not going to hold back anymore. We're going to start making content. And if it sucks, it sucks. If it's, if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. We're going to call it like it is. And that's what you're going to get. So give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And we'll see you guys in the next video.